The Holy Grail is a legendary object that has captured people's imagination for centuries. It is associated with the Last Supper of Jesus and is believed to be the chalice used by him to consecrate the wine. The term, Holy Grail, comes from the French saint Graal and has become synonymous with a sacred and mysterious object. The history of the Holy Grail is surrounded by myths and legends. According to Christian tradition, Joseph of Arimathea, a follower of Jesus, would have collected the blood of Christ in the chalice during the crucifixion. It is said that Joseph of Arimathea brought the Holy Grail to Britain, where it remained hidden for a long time. The quest for the Holy Grail became a popular theme in medieval literature, especially in the stories of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. It was believed that those who embarked on the search for the Grail would be rewarded with divine grace and immortality. Throughout history, many individuals and groups have embarked on the quest for the Holy Grail, with some of the most notable being. The Knights of the Round Table, according to Arthurian legends, King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table, including Sir Galahad, embarked on an epic quest for the Holy Grail. The Templars, the Order of the Knights Templar, a Christian military order during the Middle Ages, is believed to have been involved in the search for the Holy Grail. They are attributed with various findings and discoveries related to the Grail. Parzival and Medieval Knights, in the medieval epic, Parzival, by the German poet Wolfram von Ischenbach, the protagonist Parzival embarks on a quest for the Holy Grail. The alchemists, during the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, alchemists sought the elixir of life and the philosopher's stone, often associated with the Holy Grail. These alchemists saw the Grail as a symbol of transformation and wisdom. Adolf Hitler and the Nazis, in a more controversial context, it has been speculated that Adolf Hitler and the Nazi leaders sought the Holy Grail due to their esoteric and pseudoscientific beliefs. Hitler's obsession with the Grail was said to be related to his desire to obtain supernatural powers and world domination. The stories of the Holy Grail varied and often featured magical and supernatural elements. In some legends, the Grail is described as a divine chalice, while in others, it is attributed with healing properties or the ability to bestow abundance and prosperity. The exact location of the Holy Grail is a subject of debate and speculation, and there is no definitive consensus on where it might be. Throughout history, several theories and possible locations have been proposed for the whereabouts of the Holy Grail. Some of these theories include Valencia Cathedral, Spain. There is a long-standing tradition in Spain that holds the Holy Grail to be located in Valencia Cathedral. There, an object known as the Holy Chalice is displayed, believed to be the chalice used by Jesus at the Last Supper. Glastonbury Abbey, England, according to an ancient legend, the Holy Grail was brought to Glastonbury Abbey by Joseph of Arimathea. However, the abbey was destroyed in the 16th century, and currently, there is no solid evidence supporting the presence of the Grail there. Montserrat, Catalonia, Spain, some theories suggest that the Holy Grail is located on the mountain of Montserrat in Catalonia, Spain. This theory is based on local legends and myths that claim the Grail was brought there for protection. In the present day, the Holy Grail is considered more of a spiritual and metaphorical symbol than a physical object. It represents in a quest and connection with the divine. Many scholars argue that the Holy Grail is a metaphor for divine grace and spiritual fulfillment, rather than a tangible object. In summary, the Holy Grail is a legendary object associated with the Last Supper of Jesus. It has been the subject of search and speculation for centuries, but its true nature and whereabouts remain unknown. The Grail has become a spiritual symbol representing the pursuit of divine grace and spiritual fulfillment, rather than simply being a physical object.